Flying bodies. Let it fly! Here comes an underhand back toss. I'm going long! All right! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Martin! He got it! Whoops. You know who else can really fly? Zabu. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu! Zaboomafu! Zabu! Zabu's here, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Come on. Hey, Zab, how's it going? Nice leap, and good climbing. Look how high he goes. Now that's what I call a leaping lemur. Whoa, I bet you Zabu's looking for fruit. How about an apple? Zabu loves apples. There you go. No, not the whole thing. That's too much. Here, wait, wait. Wait, here, I got a piece for you. There you go, here. Oh, you want that big piece. did you see on the way here, Zabu? I saw a fox face up in the sky. He looked a lot like that guy over there. The creature I saw, he had wings. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had two big eyes, a, a pointy nose, and ears like a fox. Huh? Huh? Down creature. <laughs> well, I've never seen that before. A flying foxy upside down creature. Do you know who he is? Pointy nose and ears with a furry body, flying with big flapping wings. Of course, a flying, flying fox. <laughs> Kratz cracked the mystery again. Manga Sika, the mystery animal's here. He. From his head to his toes, an amazing creature. Hey, brothers, what well, doesn't he get dizzy hanging upside down like that? Well, actually, Zabu, he's used to it because a flying fox's body is specially designed to hang upside down for long, long periods of time. Wow. How does he sleep? He sleeps just like this, hanging upside down. Manga Sika, that's amazing! Yeah. Look at how those ears pivot in every direction, picking up the sounds. <laughs> Can you do that with your ears? Try to move your ears like a flying fox's ears. Take special ear control. So there are two foxes in Animal Junction, this guy and the red fox. Well, the red fox is a fox, Abu, but the flying fox isn't a fox. He's called a flying fox because he kind of looks like a fox. Take a look. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. But actually, a flying fox is a kind of fruit bat. 
And there are over 900 species of bats, like the ghost bat or the mastiff bat. <laughs> that bat looks like a dog. You're right. And then there's the vampire bat. Of course, we can't forget about the bat we call the flying fox. And get this, he's also called a fruit bat. A fruit bat? But he looks like a fox, not a fruit. He likes eating fruits, Abu. Huh. Fruit bats are frugivorous, which means they eat mostly fruit. Frugivorous. 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 He eats fruit? Right. Huh. Phew. So we both like fruit. Yeah, Zob, but you're not nocturnal like a bat. Oh, nocturnal. Sleeps during the day, awake at night. Exactly. During the day, flying fox bats hang out together in a group or colony. And get this, a colony of flying fox bats can have over a thousand bats. Mungudzika, that's a lot of bats. It sure is, Zob. And when a flying fox wakes up, he grooms himself and heads off to find fruit trees. You know, I eat a lot of fruit, too. Yeah. Do you mind if I call you Fruitball? It's a pretty good name, huh? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, you're hungry? Well, no, no, you stay there and rest. Oh, you had to fly a lot just to get here. It's my turn to, to fly up and, and get you some fruit. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. I'm flying! I'm flying! Uh-oh! Uh well... Uh, uh, I, I meant to do that. Uh, flying's harder than I thought. Uh, well, Sabu, you're an incredible leaping lemur. All you have to do is leap up there and grab a grape. Yeah, but I want to fly like a fruit bat. Huh? I really want to fly. Why can't I fly? What does fruit ball have that I don't have? Huh. Well, let's see. He has two ears, and I have two ears. And he has feet to grab that vine. Oh, well, like me. And he has arms, and... Do uh... you see anything else, Saw? Uh... Know what? I'll show you. His arms! The skin goes all the way down to his feet! That's because his wings are actually arms with skin stretched out between the fingers. Now that's amazing. See, his upper arm is way in the back here. And this is his elbow, and it goes all the way down to his wrist. Now all these bones here are his fingers. So, when he spreads out the skin between his fingers and his arms, he flies. Not only can his wings fly, but they can climb, too. His wings are both wings and arms. Wow! He has wings and arms, too. Well, if I want to fly, I need wings. Brothers, you got to build me some wings. Wings! Coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> You want to try them on, Sabu? Does a bee like honey? Lay them on me, brothers. <laughs> all right, hold still. Oh, we'll yeah, wings all set. Oh, First, we got oh, a strap on time. the body harness. Here, Squiz. I'll move the arm. OK. Where do I put them? Right in here. These are manga zika. Hey, fruit ball, look, I got my wings. Now I can fly just like you. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of one time in Sabu. Land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I heard someone say... That's a jumping lemur. That ain't no body femur. <laughs> hey, Zabu! <laughs> hey, who said that? It's me, Zobster. Sounds like a Bugly. Bugly the superstar. Hey, you want to fly with me? Sure, Bugly, that would be great. Hop on. Flying is a superstar thing Whoa. to whoop, do, Zabu Mafu. And the secret Whoa. to a great flight is a great takeoff. <laughs> Well, how do you take off, Bugly? Well, I run, and I run, and I run. I get so fast that I can feel the wind in my wings. Oh. What do you think, Sabumafu? Can you feel the wind in your wings? Huh? Well, I don't have wings, Bugly, but I can sure feel the wind in my fur. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> and now, get ready, Saboo Fly Boo, because we huh? are going to take off. You ready? Here we go. Wow. And we did. We started flying. <laughs> Flying's Hi, great. Hi, Saboo Yo, Mama Z. You, the end. <laughs> so, uh, did you like that? <laughs> 
He liked it. Hey, watch this. Hey, now I gotta try my wings. <laughs> Don't worry, fruit ball. I'm gonna get you that fruit now. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, I'll get it this time. One, two, three. <laughs> it's all in the wrist action, zombie do. Okay, this time for sure. One, two, three. <laughs> I, I'm flying! I am flying! I'm really flying! I, I, uh, uh oh, cool! Uh oh, I'm not flying anymore! Oh. <laughs> Stop. Not again! I, I, I am meant to do that. Yeah. Duck! Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A feather! One of the bird's secrets to flying. Did you know that most of a bird's wing is made of feathers? That's how they can fly so well. And here are some cool flying facts about feathers. Feathers give the bird's wing a certain shape to help the bird fly. Different wing shapes do different things. Some birds have high lift wings and others have soaring wings. And get this, feathers are really strong to deal with a lot of flapping and high winds, but they're really light too so birds can get off the ground. Now, feathers have non-flying uses, too, like looking good to attract a mate. And you know what else? A duck's feathers are waterproof. And that's important. In order to fly, feathers need to be dry. Oh, wow. Do you see how the water rolls off her back? See? I wish I had feathers like that. Then I wouldn't be so soaked. Exactly. So check out this mother goose teaching her goslings how to waterproof their wings. First, they put their beaks under their wings because that's where a special waterproof oil is. Next, they wipe their oily beaks all over their feathers to make them waterproof. That oil keeps their feathers dry, fluffy, and ready to fly. Brothers, I need help. We need feathers or fruit ball's never going to get any fruit. Feathers, feathers coming, coming up. up. <laughs> I never realized how many feathers it takes to cover a wing. I know, 124, 125, 126, 127. <laughs> Come fly with me! Ready to fly? Ready, here goes. Fly faster, Zabu. Some bats flap their wings 20 times per second. Well, how fast is that? That's about this fast. How do they do that? <laughs> okay. I can do it! I can do it! I'm flying! I can fly! All right, buddy! Fly! I'm gonna get some fruit! He's a fruit flyer! The grapes you had done! I did it! You really flew, Zabu! And you got the grapes! Here you go! Thanks, Zabu! Nice toss! No, it's a fruit for all. Yeah. And nice flying. And now fruit ball has as much fruit as he wants. Oh, here, here, here's some more. There you go. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Whoa, he ate the whole thing. That would be like putting a grapefruit in your mouth. Wow. Now, have you ever imagined what it's like to eat hanging upside down? How do you swallow it? It takes some serious muscle coordination. Hmm. Let's see how he handles an orange. Okay. Look at that tongue. Wow. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, bananas. Let's see what happens here. Uh, using the finger to take a piece off. Oh, wait, forget about breaking off little pieces. He's going for the whole thing. Wow! Well, <laughs> he's gonna get really blue. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much fruit it takes to make a flying fox smoothie king. You want any more? No, I think he's Vookie, Martin. You're right. And we figured out what it takes to make a flying fox Vookie. One grape, a big bite of banana, and some orange juice. <laughs> hey, now that he's Vookie, I want to really fly. I want to fly faster and farther and higher. Come on, brothers. Help me out. You got it, Zabu. All right. I'll strap the turbo boosters right here. And I'll attach the tracking transmitter device. All right. And now the fuel pump. I can't wait. Are you guys almost oh, finished? Yeah. 
Hey, Saab. We got high octane stuff here, buddy. Turbo rockets for increased muscle power. Huh? Fuel all pumped up. We're ready to initiate countdown. Wow, brothers! This really did it! I'm really flying now! Whoa! Saab, who's slow to turbo so strong it's buckling my wind! I'm just fine. Hey, what happened to my turbo? Whoa! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel flying creaturish. How about you, flying creaturish? I feel flying creaturish. Dog! Flying creaturish. A fantastic flying creature looking down at you. Where'd he go? I don't know. Is that Zabu? Duck! He's not Zabu or a duck. He's Moonface the barn owl with a message from the animal helpers. Moonface is an amazing flyer. He can fly so silently that he can ambush his prey without even being heard. Let's see what the animal helpers are up to. Look at our glider go. Nice landing. Whoa, we'd better not disturb her because this is an important time of the year for dragonflies. And here's why. The dragonfly starts out as a larva and swims around in the water until she's ready to become a dragonfly. Then the larva crawls up on a piece of grass, sheds her skin, and becomes a dragonfly. So what was a larva is now a dragonfly. Whoa, what a great flyer! She goes in so many directions, so fast! Look at her amazing wings! She has two pairs. They're so thin, they're see-through. That helps her fly really well. Just like our glider! Brothers, I need your help! Oh, how am I gonna land? Sounds like a trip to me. We've got to help Zabu figure out how to land. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. It's a good thing we attached a tracking device to Zabu. That's his signal, and he's headed that way. Altitude visibility is clear. He's not his Abu Chris. I have him on the radar, but no visual. Wait, there he is! <laughs> hey, Zabu, how's it going? Uh, great job! Yeah. Uh, I feel like a bird! <laughs> I can't believe my mind! But, uh, brothers, guess what? <laughs> I don't know how to land! Well, that's why we're here, Zabu, to help you out! Uh, thanks! Mark, down there! A white back vulture! Hey, that's it! We can figure out how the vulture lands and then tell Zabu. Great plan. Hold on, buddy. I'm holding. And I'm putting her down. Over here. Get a good view from out here on this ridge. There they are! Vultures, what great flyers. They glide through the air so smoothly. Now, if we could just find one landing. Chris, over here. She's not landing, but she's landed. Oh, yeah. This vulture's preening. That means she's cleaning her feathers and getting them ready for flight. If you're a bird, keeping your feathers clean is one of the most important things in your whole life. Because without clean feathers, flying would be impossible. Hey, brothers, have the vultures shown you their landing secret yet? Because they're not telling me. <laughs> We're working on it, Zabu. But all the vultures are flying. And who knows when they're going to land, because vultures are incredible soarers, and they can just circle and circle for hours without ever flapping their wings. They just find an air current and go along for the ride. Awesome. 
Vulture chicks. Hey, there's one of the parents guarding the nest. That means the other vulture will have to land soon. They have to come back and feed their chicks. What? Feed their chicks? But I'm ready for my first landing right now, brother! That was close. We better get Zabu landed and fast. Hey, check it out. Vultures are circling. Probably means they spotted lunch. Yeah, they're looking for carrion. You know, meat that's already been hunted by another creature. I wonder what it is. That's what? A cheetle deer carcass. And I bet I know whose meal that was to begin with. You think of what I'm thinking? Indian wild dogs. They caught the cheetle. Hey, and now they're back. The dogs are chasing the vultures. What goes up must come down. This will be our chance to watch one land. Hey, circling, looking for a landing place. There. Touchdown. Did you see that, Sabu? Sabu? He's heading back to Animal Junction. Oh, we better get back there. Whoa! I'm on a dead Come on. Whoa! I'm going down. He's heading down. Whoa, a golden eagle. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's giving me some landing lessons. <laughs> golden eagles are great landers. Let's see how he does it. Select the spot. Feet out front, wings to break. Yeah! Wow! Now that's what I call a smooth landing. Huh. That's how you land? Exactly. But different birds have different styles. Flamingos sort of walk down on the water. Others hover over the spot first and then plunk down. Some use their feet like water skis. Gliding right in. But eagles can put on their brakes in midair and then land. Put on their brakes? In the middle of the air? Wow. Well, let's try it. Great idea. Let's slam on our brakes in midair like golden eagles. Swooping like an eagle. Golden eagles are one of the fastest birds on Earth. Diving like an eagle at 200 miles an hour. Whoa! Fly, fly. <laughs> fly. Ready? Fly. Stop. <laughs> Bing. 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 <laughs> Go. Soft landing pad. <laughs> yeah. Here's some towels, guys. Thanks, Ab. Whoa. Check out these chest muscles. These are the muscles that help them fly. But eagles don't fly right away. You see, young eagles have to do a lot of practicing before they're airborne. This young eagle is flapping away, testing his wings. But he's not quite ready to take off yet. It's a big step off that branch, and an eagle has to know what he's doing. This reminds me of one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I leaped right into Bugly. Coming down. Oh. Hey now, what's up in there, Zabu? How'd you get so high in the sky? I told Bugly I was practicing my high power flying leaps on my lemur legs. Ah, there's nothing like flying, Zabooby de doo. Nothing. Hey, let's fly together. We both <laughs> went high in the air. Bugly used his wings and I used my lemur legs. Whoa! Wow! We came down and landed in a soft coconut bush. Oh. And everyone knows how yummy coconuts are. Well, he wanted to eat some, yeah. but we couldn't open them. All of a sudden, I felt something, and then this funny blonde with eyes floated up to say hello. It was oh. Phoebe and all her crazy legs. Ah. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Hey, Phoebe. Hi, Bugly. <laughs> Want me to crack your mocha roll? Thanks. Hey, hey great idea. Oh, oh thanks. Oh. Oh. Flying fun, but so is eating coconuts with your friends. We ate and ate and ate for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> 
time really flies. It's time to go already. What was your favorite part of the day, Zabu? Oh, flying like football. I liked learning how to fly vulture style. I loved watching Zabu fly out of that window. <laughs> now, I've heard of leaping lemurs before, but never of lemurs who can fly like a bird. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spine and behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make it an animal friend today. I guess I better fly home. Lemur style, that is. Woohoo! Bye, brothers. See you later, Zabu. Bye bye, buddy. And we'll see you next time back here at Animal Junction. Hi, my name is Philip, and this is my dog Dylan. <laughs>